The contractual impasse conversation involving Black Sharif and Chavez is being revisited. Black Sharif is being dragged to court by the investor for signing a contract without his consent. The update has actually divided opinions with some asking why it had to go to this extent, while some say it is a good case for the industry because it's going to be the first time an investor is dragging a musician to court. We are seated for a riveting conversation on this one, aside other issues that made headlines in this week. I am Benefo Boabin Abrantepa, and this is Bloggers Forum on Ghana Web TV. Thanks for joining us. I am Abrantepa, and my guests are seated. The man the ladies call Mr. Smooth. Now, when he appears on Moons and Cuddles, he says he's Mystic Mike. But about bloggers for Uma, or to two Ija, or Chanko for Meku, to us the Black Pepper. Black Pepper is with blackpepper.com. Charlie, thanks for joining us. Many thanks for having me. How have you been? We're grateful for life, mm. and uh, we keep on uh, grinding. How are the ladies? Oh, they are there. We are still searching. <laughs> see, they we are, are there. still searching, hoping to land uh, one for the long term. Mm, I see. Nenebi is an author. He's the author of the book, Everything That Happened and the People Who Made It. Nene, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. And you, is it a necklace? Yes, a necklace. The two of you are wearing a spectacle, so I was pressured into wearing the shade myself. So, Yes, that's I think you should add it to your brand. Yeah, I've been thinking about it. I've been experimenting with what to do with my brand since I became an author. <laughs> I don't want to write. Don't say out of no match with turtle neck. Yeah. Any suits. Yeah. That's all, all authors wear. I don't want to do that. So what do you want to wear? T-shirt, sunglasses, gangster with a necklace. Uh -huh. you, 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 you need some choker be somewhere. What is choker? Charlie, <laughs> free your mind. Okay, so let's start with how you've affected my life. Who is the you? You, you are brand Me. Yes. Hey, today to okay. You grew up in Kumasi, right? Yeah. And you are Nashanti. Yes. And you attended the government school in Kumasi. Yes. And so they've how. Usually when I tell people, when I, I speak bad English most of the time, my tense is, no, yeah, I never mm -hmm. So when people ask me that, why is that, oh, I could school uh, you are an author, why do you speak bad English? I'm like, well, I grew up in Kumasi, and in Canberra, for China and Nayeka. Mm. Until I read your article about uh, Obi and Pons, and now I can't use that excuse again. Because I'm a brand fan, so I'm a friend is saying, Okay, government school. I didn't know what trouble for Papa. Now they bro for time time going out But then that's that's how you have affected my life. But about the article mm. itself, no. You know, I when you're in this industry for a long time, right? Mm. It's very very difficult not to be biased about certain people and certain issues because you tend to build relationships with people. Mm. Like I've known um, Obi and Ponsan for at least seven years. I didn't even realize that he mentioned it recently. Okay. I've known him for at least seven years. So I remember in 2015 or 16, when I was trying to be an artist, working with artists, I put together a show at Samini's uh, Dance Stadium. Mm. And I sold only four tickets. <laughs> only four tickets of the uh, show I put together. I advertise on radio, newspaper, Facebook, everything. And uh, nobody came, only four <laughs> people came. Mm -hmm. I remember some girl that I used to like, she came with her boyfriend, or only boyfriend who thought ticket. <laughs> so she contributed to the two people who bought that ticket. And mm. uh, um, Obi and Bonta was one of the people who performed on that show and actually performed for free for me because actually he had, we had agreed the amount I was going to pay him. When he came there and saw that nobody patronized any ticket, no. mm -hmm. he just left without even telling me goodbye. <laughs> I see. So mm -hmm. it's hard for me to be critical of him. But the good thing about someone like Abrante, uh, about uh, someone like Obi, no you, you're a bad person. Someone like Obi <laughs> is that he doesn't even put you in a position to want to, you know, be, uh, to have to uh, sell your, uh, 
your values to defend him. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Everything that he has done that people have been criticizing him for are things that I 100% think he's in the right of doing, right? And I just want to commend him because he's, as an artist, as a comedian, he's in a position where he is ruffling on the feathers of people and then he's rattling on the capes of people. Mm. That means that people care what he says. If an artist and you talk and nobody cares what you say, that means that you are not worth your salt. So I want to commend uh, OB that others, I've been the years since I've known him, doing it for a very long time. And he's at a position where, you know, supporters of a politician or of a president attack him, mm. uh, spouses of media people attack him just because he's doing his job. And I want to commend him for being a great person. That's not what your article said. Your article was so many big English. I didn't understand what you said. Your article said. <laughs> you need a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you need a breakdown. Mm. I see. Okay. Um, Black. Um, still on uh, the Obi um, you know, issue with uh, Israelis' um, wife, Louisa. Mm. Um, I had asked you if you knew the profession of uh, Madame Louisa because I suppose she's a corporate lady. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, couldn't understand uh, where Obi was coming from. Myself, I had met Obi uh, at one of Vodafone Ghana's events at Labadi. And that was my first time of seeing him in action. And it is true Obi can rile you up. Mm -hmm. You know, he can irk you. But then over the years, I found that he's distilled his craft, he's refined it. And now he's uh, getting the acclaim that he well deserves, having put in the work. Now, on the substantive issue for which Madame Laye lambasted him on social media had to do with um, Israel getting COVID and then isolating in a in, a, in a boys' quarters. And uh, he compared that to Nana Lyon, who didn't have shit. Nana Lyon, I think, works at Plaza FM. Yeah. So the question is, what riled up Madame Laye so much? It is the case that journalists are paid poorly in this country, especially when we are in an association and not a union where we can have uh, 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 power to demand the rates for which we should be paid. Mm. Journalists in this country are taking 800 CDs a month. Even in uh, media houses where their lead presenters get 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, in the newsrooms of those media houses, there are 800 taking journalists. Mm. And so Obi was just reflecting the society that we live in where journalists are poorly paid. And Madame Laye, she would ask herself, why are seasoned and veteran journalists at the least chance they get corporate opportunities leave? She should ask herself that question. If the media work was so well earning and we were well paid, why did Matilda Santi at the least chance getting a corporate leave? Why did Samuel Ajiman, Metro TV's finest, why did he leave for the harbor? There, there, there are reasons people will leave. Change aside, careers. aside earnings, yes. I know that. Uh -huh. But then I surmise that earnings play a crucial role. Mm. Madam Gifty Bingley, when uh, Tigo came calling, she snapped it up. Tigo snapped her up, and now she's even more, more moved to greater things. Mm. Kameni Amano, City, uh, Star FM, recently uh, left her job at Star and is in the U.S. with a media uh, organization. She recently put up a post about poor earnings of journalists and yet they're doing nothing about it or not having the voice to speak about it, but then always championing the causes of all other groups of people in the society. Mm. And you should have seen the post attracting swarms of journalists of all shapes and sizes. So, Madame Laye, I'm afraid journalists are poorly paid. So what uh, 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 Obi was intimating was that your husband must have done well for himself, must have been earning well to be able to afford land, to be able to build a main residence, and then on, as a bonus, have a quarters, a yeah. boys' quarters. Their claims that statement was sarcastic. I'm afraid I do not see... Uh, like uh, I, 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 I do not see that... Saying the word assassin, they won't try her. You know, listen, saying, Obi are here more than a decade. They do not have a hand cooked to their names. Mm. They are living with their parents. That is the reality on the ground. So, Madame Laye, you, you should have been circumspect. And I'm afraid you put your husband under undue scrutiny. 
this is somebody whose work deals with talking about people. Mm. Mr. Mr. Israel, even if he's a newscaster, we're still reading news about newsmakers. He speaks on the actions and inactions of people in the society. How best could she have handled the issue, in your opinion? She gave an admonition in February or earlier in the month that we should take ourselves lightly. We should take things in jest. We should not take ourselves too seriously. She made a public post mm. that I read in your article. Where was that humor? Where was that taking yourself lightly? When it had to do with your husband, all hell broke loose? When it came to uh, uh, your husband, so that one, hey, Masa, what do you mean? You small boy, how dare you? Badly raised and all that. I'm afraid, Madame Lai, you had brought undue attention. You had put your husband under undue scrutiny. And I'm sure Mr. Israel in the bed would have told uh, Madame Lai, that, come on now, baby girl. Uh, this was needless. You have put me under undue scrutiny. Mm. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> So, Madam Lai, please, going forward, mm -hmm. we've set our best. Susumu and Ukunu said, darling, they said me blasty akwawi. And I'm sure uh, Israel, that I know, a very calm gentleman, a very measured gentleman, mm -hmm. would have said, darling, let this be. Mm -hmm. Let this be. Let's not give him uh, the light of day. We are Okoye Kra. And, and, and uh, Obi, uh, very, um, very cunning, very witty, very crafty, has capitalized. On Madame Lai's uh, 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 supposed bashing and has increased his viewership mm. on YouTube and has increased his earnings in Tokyo and also by. When he said, when he said, uh, Israel is a calm man, I just remember something that I read recently. That. There's this guy who was asked, uh, Why do calm guys usually end up uh, <laughs> dating or marrying women who are very, very uh, uh, fiery. We are very fiery. And then he <laughs> said, somebody has to tell the waiter they got the order wrong. <laughs> <room. laughs> not going to do the one going to do it. So maybe Israel's calm so that, nature. Uh, <laughs> no, but actually that's, that's, that's something that people yeah. have been saying. Yeah. Yeah. Like if you are calm, you need fire. If you are fire, yeah, you yeah. need That's water. why I need a fire too. So are you calm or you are I'm very calm. He says he's you. calm, so he needs Who fire. Who is an <laughs> I'm very calm. Mati, you don't break it. Let's take a break when we return. <laughs> when we return, Vogue is next, and then we'll do Black Sharif and Chavez Lawson. From the dawn of time, people have engaged in several businesses. With the onset of technology and innovation, life has relatively been made easier. By using debit or credit cards. Mobile banking. Thank you. And your favorite mobile money? Tech has indeed married business. On BizTech, we spend time with faces behind known and upcoming businesses in the country. Learn more about the new technologies and innovation. As well as find out about the trending issues in the world of business. Join us as we serve you with a variety of compelling interviews, projects and others right here on Ghana Web TV. Welcome back. You're still watching Bloggers Forum on Ghana Web TV. I am Abrantipa. My guest, Nenebi, is an author, author of the book, Everything That Happened and the People Who Made It. Black Pepper is with blackpepper.com. Now, Black Sheriff and Black Pepper. But <laughs> <laughs> the thing just occurred to me. We talk about Black Sheriff. And um, <laughs> service consult or record label or Shadrach, the names are plenty. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the bottom line is that there is a rate of summons. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know whether Black Sheriff has been served or not. But there are some demands. Mm -hmm. We'll come back and talk about the issue. Um, I'll give you how it all started for those who. Uh, the every say something in Jerusalem. What's what's the expression? They are new stranger. Yes, yeah, stranger. stranger. stranger uh -huh. in Jerusalem, so yeah. if you are a stranger here, <laughs> we'll let you. Um, we'll bring you up to speed how the whole thing happened and where we have gotten to 
and the way forward. But before that, let's go for Vogue. Hi guys, you are welcome to Vogue on Bloggers Forum on Ghana Web TV. I am, of course, Irabina Everett. Today we are going to be looking at healthy foods you can fit into your diet to give you some fresh looking skin right after this break. Welcome back. You are still watching Vogue on Bloggers Forum on Ghana Web TV and I am, of course, Irabina Everett. Now, and I did say before we went on the break that we were going to look at some healthy foods you can apply into your diet to give you a healthy looking skin. In our everyday lives, we explore pharmaceutical and chemical based products that either put us on track or set us off course. Today, I'm going to be giving you five healthy foods you can try to give you healthy looking skin like mine. <laughs> Starting off, you can try orange or yellow foods such as carrots. Now carrots can protect your skin from the sun rays. The beta carotene in carrots is a skin friendly nutrient that gets converted into vitamin A inside the body. It helps repair skin tissues while also protecting skin from harmful radiation. Did you know that? I'm not sure you did, so get your carrots game on. Moving on, you can also try spinach and other dark green leafy vegetables. Now, the spinach helps give you healthy skin and hair. It is also rich in vitamin A and is also necessary for the growth of all bodily tissues, including your skin and your hair. Spinach and other leafy greens are high in vitamin C and are crucial for building and maintaining collagen. This provides structure to the skin and your hair, it keeps it firm, and of course, very lush. <laughs> tomatoes. Now I'm not sure you knew tomatoes played a vital role in your life. Tomatoes are an excellent source of vitamin C. Besides boosting your immune system, vitamin C can help stimulate collagen production. Applied topically, vitamin C may help improve skin elasticity and it also makes your skin firmer, like I said previously. Now looking at blueberries, blueberries are high in antioxidants, fiber and nutrients. All of these put together may help your skin's ability to fight inflammation related to acne and also premature aging. Now I see a lot of my young ladies out there using anti-aging creams. That is terrible for your skin. Try blueberries and then you know give me a call and say right you were right. <laughs> Now, finally, brown rice. I know a lot of us don't like brown rice because from research done, a lot of us say it's not nice. It doesn't taste right, but it's very healthy for you. This contains fiber and various other essential nutrients and minerals. Brown rice can make your skin blemish free. Additionally, brown rice being jam packed in protein can promote cell growth and increase blood flow in your skin. This is because proteins are known to be strong X. Mm. I felt that proteins are meant to be strong exfoliants. Try brown rice, ladies and gentlemen. Try brown rice. Now, all of this might not work for some people, but might also work for other people because we all have different skins and different systems. But put into account what you eat and how you eat it, and then give me a call and let me know. You know, if it doesn't work for you, I'll find another routine for you. This has been Vogue on Bloggers Forum and Ghana Web TV. I am Irabna Everett. See you soon. Thanks, Irabna, for the segment Vogue and. In your nene day, I'm sure nene, the be nene skin doesn't look like he eats some of these foods. Please. Uh, I'm, very, I'm, a very, I'm someone who takes veggies a lot. Oh, really? I, I what, what kind of veggies do you take? All type of veggies. Sometimes I take the local ones. Sometimes mm -hmm. I try that raw food, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I try. I try to eat well, you know. Bear my daughter, who you're doing? Me and Flo, daddy. Instead of dada. Like, baby, which 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 uh, vegetable or fruit do you? Oh, eat I'm, I'm a vegetable loving yeah. chap as well. I love fruits as well. Watermelon, pineapple. You know, I love uh, BJ's a lot. So pineapples yeah. are good, yeah. so that the ladies can feel comfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a brownie. I'm yeah. a brownie next one. Next year, do we comfort moose and cardo? Them say a one now better. Oh, 
Elkia. I'm not being scratchy, so I cannot cry. Okay, so um, away from that, let's let's do the black sheep issue now. Um, a few weeks ago, um, there was an issue, and then Black Sheriff was being tagged as an ingrate. That's because DJ Slim, uh, a radio presenter in Kumasi, started this, um, what he calls an editorial on his show and on Facebook, that Black Sheriff has left his um, label or business um, manager, who is Chavez. And Chavez had done a lot, according to... Um, DJ Slim. Chavez has done a lot, giving Black Sharif and his Road Boys Association a, a room, accommodation. Uh, an accommodation, uh, a car, money. He's done a lot of investment, but Black Sharif decided to leave the house. And that's because there is a contract with Empire Entertainment and Distribution deal. And then Chavez told Black Sharif that this is a bad contract. But Black Sharif decided to go and sign the contract, even without their consent. And so that's where we came. And so the last time we met on this show, we discussed it. And there was this issue of counseling, counseling Black Sharif. They said that, um, I mean, Mr. Logic was the one championing that. He said it, it, his act is actually <coughs> driving away investor confidence. And so some of these things need to be discouraged. Now, there is a rate of sermons that is moving around. It's from a high plus circuit court of justice. And this is coming from, I mean, it's a case between Shadrach E.J. Owusu. He has his address there. And Mohammed Ismail Sharif, that we all know as Black Sharif. Now, a number of things. And Black Sharif, according to the rate of sermon that was issued on 4th, I beg your pardon, 11th April, is supposed to um, actually... Um, within eight days after he has been served, um, make a statement. Then there is here, he's a lawyer in the making, okay. even though he says I shouldn't be saying that. But as far as this conversation is concerned, uh, I'm sure he will tell us what it means that you have eight days to um, file a defense. Is that the case? Okay. So a number of things that application on notice for injunction preservation of funds and for appointment of a receiver. Now, there are, there are actually four. And this is what it says. Please take note that this honorable court will be moved on the day, on the ninth day of May 2022 at 9 a.m. in the afternoon or so soon thereafter as counsel for the plaintiff and applicant may be heard praying his honorable court, this honorable court, for the following reliefs. I, an order of injunction to restrain the defendant or respondent, his agent assigns work, his agents assigns workmen and associates from performing at events and entering into agreements to perform at events or otherwise exploit his music and image without recourse to the plaintiff or applicant. I, I, an order for the preservation of all funds that has accrued to the defendant or respondent from online streaming platforms and other revenue sources. I, 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 an order for the appointment of a receiver to receive or to receive any and all funds that may accrue to the defendant or respondent from the use and exploitation of his music and image. IV, any further order that this court may deem fit until the final determination of this matters in dispute and on the grounds contained in the supporting affidavit. Now, when this was in circulation on social media, a few moments after, there was this um, letter purported to be coming from the lawyers of Black Sharif that says that Black Sharif actually 
terminated his contract with um, Chavez. And that was two days before the <laughs> Black Pepper is laughing. I don't know what he, he, he deems funny. That was two days <clears throat> before the, you know, the rate of summons was actually made public. And so this is it. I read as I read the rate. The name of the uh, firm, Nedie, so when I butcher it, pardon me. Or should I just go ahead and say it is coming from Black Sheriff's firm? Black Sheriff's lawyers. Black Sheriff lawyers. Okay. So the letter is dated April 8, 2022. Mr. Shadrach Ej Owusu Accra. Dear Mr. Owusu, termination of business management contract. We act as solicitors of Mr. Mohammed Ismail Sharif on whose instructions we write. Our instructions are that by an agreement dated 18th August 2021, the agreement, into brackets, our client appointed you as his manager. We have, we have our client's instructions to confirm our client's acceptance of the termination of the agreement following discussions between you and our client. Our client is accordingly no longer bound by the agreement. Thank you. And that is coming from Black Sheriff's lawyers. I listened to an interview with um, DJ Slim, who started I, this whole thing. For all intent of purposes, 100% believe he's speaking for Snap. Even okay. though he makes it sound like he's not. He's not. Yes. Um, as far as we are concerned, it is Kohu Christo, who is the personal assistant of Chavez, who has been doing all the talking. Um, officially, let me say. Yeah, okay. But like you said, uh, that is your view, and I respect that. Mm -hmm. DJ Slim had an interview on Hits FM, and then he said the statement in there that there was a resolution of a sort that, you know, like we, we are agreeing mm -hmm. to terminate the contract. Mm -hmm. He indicated that there's, there was nothing of that sort. Mm -hmm. And so, of course, the case is in court. We will not delve into the issue that is in court because of contempt. I don't know I what... Mean, you can delve into it if you want. Yeah, yeah, no, but... Yeah, yeah, do do <laughs> yeah, do do and I would want to start from Nene. Mm -hmm. You have followed the issue. Mm -hmm. You've seen the rate, mm -hmm. what they are demanding. Last time we were asking me rates. of... Yes. And I don't know what they are demanding. What they are demanding. I, but oh no, I just read to you. That's an injunction request. Okay. That's an injunction petition. That's what is different the difference? From, the rates mm -hmm. usually attach to the statement of claim. In the statement of claim, usually they have the, they will enlist the case they have against Black Sherry. The breaches. No, no, they will enlist what the claims they have against him. Okay. Of, they, they might maybe, depending on how it's written, mm -hmm. they might talk about their relationship with him and how their relationship came to be and all those things. Mm. And then, in the end of the uh, what was the name? At the end of the statement of claim, they'll write what they are praying the court to do, mm -hmm. and that's when they will uh, make their demands of the court. Okay. And then, usually, if you have a case uh, pending in court, you might file an injunction in court so that the other party may not act in a way that will endanger your case mm -hmm. or prejudice your case. Mm -hmm. Because, for example, if you have a case against somebody who is building on your land and you don't uh, seek an injunction to stop them from building, by the time maybe the case mm. finishes, maybe it may take five years, you will sit there in area, the court may not ask the person to bring down the house. Mm. You understand? Okay. And it may injure you. So that's why you seek injunction, which is totally different from maybe the statement you may have against him. Okay. So, boom. I want to start with this. For, I've been on this show for the past, about four times in the last month, mm -hmm. and all four times we've spoken about Black Sheriff. Yeah. In the past one month. Yes, because the three and music um, yeah, awards. Yeah, I want to commend him as an artist. That shows that he's the biggest artist in the country now. And usually somebody may have the biggest song, meaning they should be the biggest artist mm -hmm. because they are not making news. And Black Sheriff has the biggest song, and he's making news every day. And they're talking about him every day. Mm -hmm. That's commendable. And just uh, on 12 April, uh, Sazam tweeted that his song, Kweku the Traveler, is the most Sazam song in the world. Yeah. 
and he's the number one on the hip hop rising list on Sazam. Mm -hmm. That means that we could have traveled, surely traveling. Yeah. And but they are same papa neighbor. But then, as to um, let me take off this shade so that <laughs> <laughs> I. What was your question? My question is mm. that some say that this is indeed a good case for the industry. Okay, so there, uh, there's something I wanted to talk about real quick before I talk about your mm -hmm. question. When DJ uh, Slim was speaking, mm. he said uh, Black Sheriff and uh, Snap did they have, they didn't meet at all. Mm -hmm. Because in the letter, Black Sheriff said they meet and then they had an agreement to, you know, have a, what's the name? To end the contract. Mm -hmm. But Dr. Slim, uh, DJ, DJ Slim, Slim said that didn't happen. If Black Sheriff and, what's his name, um, Snap, have not met to discuss their case before Snap uh, took him to court, mm -hmm. that may work against Snap. Because uh, according to the Civil Procedure Act, in an intellectual property related case, and when you have an intellectual property related case, you're supposed to first go for arbitration before you take it to court. Mm. Because intellectual property is kind of very technical. So you should have some technical pe people trying to you know, reach a resolution. If you are not able to read a resolution, then you proceed to court. So if DJ Slim wants to put all, who is close to SNAP, want to put it out there, mm. that they've not had any conversation with Black Sheriff before they came to court, I don't think that is making the point he thinks it's making. Mm -hmm. Did he say they did not make? He said they didn't have any understanding. They have not met on 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 whether or not to terminate. They said they've not. He said they've not met. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so that may not necessarily help, help his case though. So I was wondering why Black Sheriff lot lawyers put that out that they met anyway. Mm -hmm. But um, there is that, and about whether or not uh, it's good for the industry. I've I've said this on this platform before several times that there are less than 20 reported cases in Ghana about intellectual property. Mm. You understand? And you said something in your introduction which may not actually be true. That Most of the intellectual property related cases in Ghana actually are invested suing artists. Mm. Most of it, yeah. Because they, they are highly intellectual property cases in Ghana where it is about the property itself. Most of it has to do with the business of it. So, like, you know, there was a case where I remember I had to brief, I forgot what the case was about, but it was something about uh, one Mr. Abraham who had invested to some artists to buy some musical instruments, and the musical instruments were taken to music guy and all those things. So, this is not the first time an investor is suing an artist in Ghana. It hasn't happened since in maybe 40 years there have not been any reported case in 40 years mm. but there are a lot of cases which go on some of them may end up being taken out of court i know i have a friend who is a writer who, who was who has sued somebody else over his book that's a intellectual property case though but things like that may be ongoing for a while and then maybe they may be taken out of court because these cases are not very easy to resolve in court because judges are not intellectual property people so um, it is good that they you chose to use the court as an avenue to resolve their matter, right? But I would have felt that it would have been better if they had started with arbitration, which I don't know if they did or not, before taking the matter to court. Mm. That's one. And two, I, I have, I'm struggling to not to talk about uh, Mr. Logic. But since you mentioned Mr. Logic, I want to say this. I think that Snap is doing the same thing Mr. Logic did with Shatawale. Mr. Logic, what he did with Shatawale was, when Shatawale got big and Shatawale didn't want to work with him again, he went to the news to say he started uh, the Shatta Movement family. So uh, he was taking the Shatta Movement family from Shatawale, and then he started the Shatta Movement family record label with uh, and signed Vibrant Fire. And then Vibrant Fire went on to make hits, peace be to him. But that didn't stop Shatawale, and that didn't stop the uh, Shata movement being known as Shatawale's movement. To date, we credit uh, Shata movement to Shatawale. So 
Um, I think what Snap is doing is the issue of an old, bitter ex-girlfriend who has seen that you are making progress in life and then they can be part of your life to enjoy their progress. So what they're going to do is that they have to find a way to start a fight with you. I have a lot of friends who have ex-girlfriends who have baby mamas who, you know, do those things from time to time. And I feel like when I saw Mr. Uh, when I talked Snap's case against the uh, friend said, uh, okay. Sheriff, I remembered the most recent case of my friend's baby mama who won't let him see the baby again because he heard that the boy has a new girlfriend now. So that's what I want to say for now. Um, All right. So um, <laughs> this sheriff <laughs> case um, is an interesting one. Mm. And uh, one that appropriately has people on both sides. In our industry, we've seen fallouts. Even for Stoneboy leaving Samini, it wasn't all, all jolly jolly. It wasn't. He's mentioned Shatawale and Mr. Lodge's pattern. There's the Harbour City and Galaxy pattern. Mm. There's the uh, Kaki and uh, Extra Large pattern. There's the, there are many. And in certain cases, the artists do not even recover anymore. Mm. Even with links, that is notable, that is striving. Look at the Assem pattern, the Easy Baby pattern, uh, the, the Miss V pattern. Even Miss V, he had to take a lot to get her back on her feet. And she admitted going through depression. No, but that, that was not related to her exit. But, I mean, her music was impacted. Yeah, the, 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 the way you put it, it's like she was yeah. depressed because, because no, she no, left. No, I, I get what no, no. Uh -huh. what I'm, say, what I'm saying is, the point he's making. Yeah, okay. what I'm saying is, mm. because she was asked, are you not doing music again? Mm. She said, I was in the right frame of mind. Mm -hmm. So much so that our Kwame UT came out with Miss V. I grew a haze for her and all that. No, I'm not sure he said it the way you are saying it. My brother. <laughs> no, no. So much so, well, <laughs> what, what am I thinking? I'm trying to find life for Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no. Because that's the sense I got. Because yeah. it goes to people like, oh, Kasado do. Mm -hmm. And you can watch your mama a man for. Mm. Oh, Kasado do. No, but when you go for an interview and you, you are know? asked if you are the one writing for Miss V, and you say, yeah, I was the one doing it. What's wrong with oh, that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I am quite Yeah, 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 uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So, there is the instance where partners get to a point, they do not want the union again, mm -hmm. and some want out. But then, in wanting yes, so out... They can't wait for death to do them part. So, uh -huh. they do so in wanting out, what is the agreed protocols? That's what causes the issue. Mm. Um, Black Sharif is a brilliant mind. He's a gifted son of the soil. And on his back, Ghana has a bankable export. This is not just a guy whose music has fallen on fertile minds and hearts in Ghana only. He's managed to cross the borders and gone into Nigeria. And not only that, he's even managed to still get a visa to cross the borders to the United States. Mm. So much so that his music is being played at NBA games. Now, we must also make it clear that investors play a crucial role in our music ecosystem. And that there has been instances where artists have also taken advantage of them, have not fulfilled their obligations, have worked on them, having achieved fame and fortune, and left the investor destitute. That is also there. Mm. It is equally true also that certain uh, investors have also had stranglehold over artists, made the situation so dire for them that they can't release new music, Yet the artists cannot free themselves and undertake certain ventures, so much so that the artists are left hanging till the expiration date comes, by which time the bars around them would have died, that they cannot get paying gigs.
and that virtually their careers are over. Mm. So it's a 50-50 issue. Now, let's zoom in into Black Sharif and then Shedrack, a.k.a. Snap situation. I understand that Snap is a friend of the Road Boys and Black Sheriff. And now, when his first sermon came, he was one of those who went around proud and blasting the music that this is my boy, this is my boy, this is my boy. As often happens when one of the boys blows. By the time the second sermon came, I don't know if it was on the mount, but when the second sermon came and Snap saw the magnitude and saw the, the impact, the conversation was then had that why don't I come on board officially, not just as a friend, amicus courier, but as a bona fide investor, mm -hmm. investing resources into it because you have the goals, you have enough oil in the tank to last the journey. So let me come in now, not just the little little thing I've gotten, but you know, main resources, and then let's do what we'll do. And so eventually, that happened. But we did not have the nitty gritties. We did not have the details of that contract. We did not know if the agreement was that, Sharif, I'm going to invest X amount of money within a, a, a period. You will release X amount of music within this period. It is after this period that you'll be free to do what you like. We did not know that. We did not know if the contract stipulates that I'm going to invest X amount of money so that all the gigs you get, I get X amount of percentage. We don't know that. The court will get to know that. So we can only speak to the facts that we have. Now, with that contract signed, Snap became a business manager, cum financier. And here, I would like to also urge investors that they should not be in a hurry to be involved in the day-to-day -day affairs, involved in the operational duties. You can be a silent investor. Snap, you have the money. So draw the contract. And here, I would also urge our entertainment people to fish out entertainment lawyers, showbiz lawyers, arts lawyers, not just general lawyers, because this needs segmentation, as the B has said. Even the judges in the courts, not everybody's clothed with mm. the knowledge of these very circumspect things. Mm. So in drawing that contract, Snap could have been a, a, a silent investor. I have the money. You need the money to be able to explain. No, until, 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 that's some, until the some, issue. Some of these things, eh? I get what you're saying, but I know that it was, the, the DJ Slim said that one of the issues was that, uh, uh, what was the name? Snap is supposed to be around any time he's entering into a new deal, right? No, but his statement that Snap should have been... A silent investor. No, until the issue, we, we never knew. We didn't one, know. One, there's, but two, you can't tell somebody how to use their money, though. Yeah, exactly. If somebody's uh, investing their money mm -hmm. in you, you can't tell them how mm -hmm. to be involved in your business. That's true. So, uh, what is it? when it comes to people investing their money, mm -hmm. one of the biggest problems we have with investment in Ghana in general mm -hmm is that there's a very low level of trust in Ghana mm -hmm. for reasons which have very little to do with showbiz in particular. Mm -hmm. It's just we don't have people entering into partnerships in Ghana. We don't have people entering into deals to put a big... There are some small, small businesses I see around who can uh, merge. merge to become bigger business. Mm -hmm. But people don't do that because, one, there's very low level of trust. Mm -hmm. We live in a very low uh, level trust economy. Mm -hmm. And two, that trust may be born out of the fact that people have bad, bad experiences mm -hmm. in the past with doing business with other people. So asking somebody to invest their money and act like they did invest their money is something is asking too much in this country. Let, 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 me, let, let, me, let me round this up. Okay. So being a silent investor is one way. The other way is being actively involved as uh, the is mentioning. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is this. On the part of Sharif, now you did a support this man came on board mm. when you you realized that you needed to make inroads in the american market in the european market for which reason you signed on to empire entertainment and from the understanding i have connected by boomplay mm. because sheriff has a link with boomplay also now they connected into empire and the, the critical thing is empire did not only sign on sheriff 
understand the strength of the artists. Yeah, I think so, they of have, course. But, yeah, they have your but there's yeah. no noise about the other artists. Mm -hmm. So you ask yourself, why is there so much chaos? That is, that is, that is, that is because, Ghana, no? yes, he's the biggest, and that is also because his supposed business partner, mm -hmm. no, um, what's the word? Our um, business manager mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. said that he signed the contract mm -hmm. when they had told him mm -hmm. that it's a bad yeah, contract. Yeah, so this, there's a because reason why. Because if it's Empire Entertainment, mm -hmm. they for Empire. Uh, there is a reason why when, when, when I was, I, I, yesterday yeah. I was, or was it two days ago, I was pressing you that I really would love to read their contract. Yes. I really would love to read the statement of claim mm -hmm. because there seem to be two different stories mm -hmm. going around. Exactly. They said I, they it, said that he didn't. He, they mm -hmm. advised him not to. Mm -hmm. And another one, I heard uh, DJ Slim saying on uh, Hits FM, FM that he didn't contact them at all mm -hmm. before going ahead to sign mm -hmm. it. So which is it? Is it that he, they, they he contacted them and they, they he went against the advice to do it, or he didn't mm -hmm. ask them at all? Mm -hmm. See, those are two different cases altogether. Yes, mm -hmm. and and and. Um, Black Pepper's mm. argument, um, your, your argument seemed to admit that indeed there was a contract. Mm -hmm. yeah, so but there's a, yeah, the, so there's the issue. What, what Madonna, who is the road manager, mm -hmm. had said was that this is a, what, a company friend. Okay. You know, so I, whether or not there was I, I a contract. You, you turned on the contract, right? Which no, one? No, 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 it's the, the one with the not, empire yeah. that was in circulation. Okay, 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 okay yes. good. The thing about the empire thing is, okay, let's move away from Black Shirt for a bit. Mm -hmm. I think that I was making a point about people not knowing how to do partnership in this country. Mm -hmm. And I was making that point to lead to something. Mm -hmm. What I was trying to lead to is that, you see, years ago, Goody's Music and mm -hmm. what was the name? Um, that guy in Nigeria, uh, Kenneth Music, yeah. entered into an agreement. And the agreement was simple, right? That Goodies Music was going to promote uh, artists who were signed on Kenny's Music in Ghana, mm -hmm. and uh, Kenny's Music was going to promote Ghanaian artists that are signed to Goodies mm -hmm. in Nigeria. And then that's how come VIP Sound Kawum mm -hmm. to date is one of the biggest songs in the history of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And to date, uh, African Queen is one of the biggest mm -hmm. songs in the history of Ghana. Mm -hmm because they had an agreement and it was a partnership deal mm -hmm. right so much so that when you go on apple music now right the when you go on vip search vip on apple music mm. the song the album the two albums that they did with kenny's music uh, the ahonka Wom album and the progress album assigned to ken accredited to kenny's music mm. when i was writing my book i spoke to goodies and uh, zeal about that mm. And he said yeah, it was part of the agreement. Okay. When, uh, what was the name? Empire was coming on board. Empire coming on board, they didn't necessarily have to negate Snap out of the deal. Mm -hmm. They could have reached an agreement. And co-opted him. And co-opted him in. And probably maybe asked him in charge of the Ghana, Ghana market. Ghana market. Yeah. While Empire being in charge of the market outside, outside. Ghana. Mm -hmm. There's so many ways mm -hmm. they could have gone mm -hmm. about this thing. They could have sign on Black Sheriff as somebody who sent to a boutique label. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, a label like Good Music, Kanye's Good mm -hmm. Music, signed Big Sean. And Big Sean became signed to, what was the name? Dev Jam, mm -hmm. right? Dev Jam doesn't deal with Big Sean directly. Mm -hmm. They deal with Kanye on behalf of Big Sean. Because he was signed to a small label, and that small label mm -hmm. became signed to the bigger label. There's so many ways. But, but okay. curious, Big Sean, but, uh, uh, has issues with Kanye and all that. But because, uh, according you know? to Fiction, <laughs> Kanye was paid money because by Ennis, Def Jam. He didn't get any, he had to get an order. Yeah. You see, so the problems even in abroad happen. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's it. I, mm -hmm. I want to make this point. You see, when people are entering deals in this country, there are ways to do these things. Snap and Black Sheriff, if they had an agreement and they believed that Black Sheriff could have gone international with the deal, but through the Empire deal, right? There was a way a snap, a company could have opted into that deal. And because they didn't do that, I think that that was the genesis of it. The fact that they couldn't reach an agreement from the beginning. Mm. Everything else is uh, fruit from a poisonous tree. Okay. Because that tree was not properly planted. I, I, I'll come to you, but th th this is a very simple question. Now, if you listen to Koku Christo, mm -hmm. 
I mean, the media interviews that he granted. Mm -hmm. At a point, he mentioned record label. And I, I, yeah, the last time I had this conversation, I mentioned yes. it, that I'm confused but, as whether it's a record label good. or management. Deal. Yes, and now um, uh, DJ Slim says it's a business management. The business management. Yeah. And the suit mm -hmm. is Shadrach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is, is it possible, like a label, then the, the person who is the plaintiff, mm -hmm. it's not the record label, but the individual? I don't know the. You, you can let somebody no, uh, you can you can have a, a what's the name power for 20 for the company maybe he has power for 20 for the company okay there's nothing wrong with mm. that that one may be an issue with what their lawyers to this to right. do because none of us have read what their agreements are so, about the, so the point is mm -hmm. i've said this the last time we spoke i feel like snap they are uh, Bad business people, and they have no—they don't know what they are doing when it comes to record label. When it comes to the music business, mm. because they don't know whether they are record label, or management, or business management uh, company. If you don't know whether you are that, then how are you signing somebody to a three hundred and sixty deal? What three hundred and sixty is that? About yeah, let's wrap up. So, um, I, I did an article, I think, yesterday, mm -hmm. and then uh, this is what I picked from it. Uh, is suing Sheriff for a, a purported breach which saw the in demand musician with another label. Now, he is seeking an injunction placed on Sheriff, restricting him from playing at any event until the case has been resolved. Additionally, Mr. Usu is also asking for an order to be placed on the fans the rapper has accrued through streaming and other revenue sources. Mm -hmm. So, this is the threat, threatening feeling Snap is having. Say, the, M the Empire Association is going to deprive him from the streaming and other revenue sources. And that's a legitimate accruing. That's a legitimate. Uh, and then uh, that's a legitimate worry. Uh -huh. yes, so, so, um, why would any artist also go in for a deal that would make the other party feel threatened? And also, from the monitoring I've done. Industry people had implored Sharif to settle the matter amicably mm -hmm. with Snap, Hammer, uh, Three Music owner, uh, Abu, Sadiq, Sadiq, Sadiq yeah. and others, are all urging that there's need to sit. But this is, there's money involved, and, so you can't just uh, oh, settle But you said it yourself, that these cases are not best resolved in the court. Yeah, they should have, they, so they should have sat down to have Sally. it. Yeah. Because sir, my investment, now, meaning, say, as percentage from your streamings, your performances will come to me, and mm. then all of a sudden, I stand to not gain as much as I had hoped, or at all, uh, then there's cost there's a problem. There's problem. Okay, no, no. Final remarks um, under a minute. Okay, so there's, there was a thing where he said uh, the court should restrict Black Sherry from uh, performing yeah. and all those things, right? So if you want the court to uh, appoint a receiver, right, for which reason any money Black Sherry earns from his music would be, you know, uh, Set aside. received by, mm -hmm. by somebody. Mm -hmm. And then you also want them to stop doing the trade that makes them earn money. How are they going to earn money for the receiver to receive? Hmm. Oh, but I, I be the, the the streaming platforms there. The money will still come. I mean, I felt like the number one on the on the, his request. No, I I don't like. That's why I said it's better that somebody who understands the you know the nitty gritties of the intellectual property community mm -hmm. handle this case in the sense that this is uh, not the name. This is very, something which is very sensitive. An artist has to perform before an artist can, because mm -hmm. him performing doesn't translate to him making money, mm -hmm. though. Oh, but he's not performing for free. <laughs> no, no. If he performs uh -huh. and you have a receiver, what that means is that anytime he performs, the money will not go to him directly. Yes. It will go to the receiver. Yes. So him performing doesn't necessarily translate to him making money personally. Okay. You get what him. I'm saying? All right. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So there is that, but I want to speculate on something, though. I think that they realized they made a mistake by going ahead to sue Black Sheriff. That is why they are trying to use the business management as a cop out. Because if it's a business management deal, then it may, you can argue to the court that it is not an intellectual property issue. So we don't have to go through the long process intellectual property issues go through. 
So it could be just a business, a breach of business contract. Mm. I think that's why they, na they are now saying that it was a business management deal. Kelvin Boy, Kelvin Boy, why a man so gifted can let himself go and be so distracted in other things beats my mind. You are gifted. You have the talent. And by this time, you should be ranking. You should be there. When we are mentioning the Sarkodiers, the Stone Boys, the feats they've achieved, you should be up there. But it seems he's a mid-table artist. But he has a, a hit song. He has the catalog. Very big song. So, but even, is it, but even the earning power, when they are booking artists for major events, he doesn't, he's not there. So what's, and what's... so, and now that he is flying on the back of down flat, mm -hmm. now that he has this hit, which truly seeks to fly him, what is the 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 the, the, the uh, buzz, you know, conflicting with the with the down flat of beating the woman? That's an allegation. With, That's an allegation. Allegedly, yes. Of and it's in court. That's of, for allegations. Of, Anybody can of, make uh, allegations. Of uh, green card matters. That's, that's and, what I'm saying. No, no, look, uh, Kelvin, you have it in you. The, no, this is something that he cannot do anything about. An allegation is an allegation. As I'm sitting here, somebody can just allege. So why do you know? I will share my phone. <laughs> <laughs> It's an allegation. <laughs> yes. So, so you do DNA, you say, cannot say, do. Say, say, you need to say, wabu or ba no dia. Like, mm. only, you, you get what I mean. And, and, like, and, he's and, and, and abusing see, her, and did, there are videos. Did you see the feedback? Then, we'll go at him. Did you see the feedback? But, he uh, said, so you Ghana people cannot take my name out of your mouth. By, you didn't see the, the commentary. When he said, you Ghana people cannot take my name out of your mouth. You didn't see it. That is the different thing altogether. I mean, did you watch the... Uh, yes. Uh, even if you want to link it, even if you want to link it, there was a video of a lady who was said to be close to the supposed baby mama. And she was saying, uh, when you know, when you know, hate song, you know, and uh, we are back. The same thing I was talking about, like, about uh, exes coming uh, out to you. What are you The same I was talking about black sharing things. Now, when your ex see that you are doing well, that's when they realize that they had issues. Uh, so for me, I'm not saying that's what the wife is doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm me, I don't, I don't see anything. Saying, anything. Not, As for I'm, allegations, they. I'm not saying the wife is right or wrong, or ex-wife yeah. is right or mm, wrong, mm. or uh, Kevin Boy is right or wrong. But I feel his pain. He loves yeah. Kelvin Boy so much that he wants the guy to blow. But is he also getting there? But you can't blame him. Now, Becca says Sarko dey prepare. Even in videos, you hardly see Sarko dey kissing. Yampon wa boy. Now, what what can say? Thank you, <laughs> thank you very much for watching this show. Sarko dey kissed a fear in the video. He told us. Nenebi is an author. Um, Black Pepe, aka the Mystic Mike, is with BlackPepe.com. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Bloggers Forum. I am Benefo. Boabin Abrantipan.